New smartwatches are popping up all over the place. One such smartwatch is the Xiaomi Mi Band 6, which has been called the best fitness tracker of 2021. In this video, we'll give an in-depth guide on whether or not the Xiaomi Smart Band is worth your money, as well as whether or not it stacks up against the Mi Band 5 or other competing smartwatches. But before we start the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content coming up soon. Alright, let's jump into the video. The Mi Band 6 is a pretty tiny watch with a noticeably big screen. While it weighs in at just 14 grams, it has a 1.56 inch AMOLED display. The resolution isn't much, but the AMOLED helps out on bright summer days, making this watch easier to see in direct sunlight. The display is a long, rounded, rectangular oval shape rather than some of the more squarish competitors, making it feel more like a regular wristband than a watch. It is water resistant, claiming to withstand up to 30 minutes in water. It has Bluetooth and a top-of-the-line heart rate sensor, a barometer, and a proximity sensor. There is no onboard GPS system, but it can connect to your phone's GPS system for easy tracking of runs, bike trips, and other long-distance activities. It can also track your exercise regimen, your sleep, your steps, how many calories you've burned, and so on. Notably, it can track your blood oxygen levels, which is something the Mi Band 5 can't do. In a post-COVID world, this is definitely something that some will find invaluable and puts it on par with other more recent top watches. The design of the watch is similar to that of the Mi Band 5, and there are plenty of different watch face designs to choose from. There are no physical buttons, meaning everything is navigated with gestures. While you can get notifications, you can't respond to messages on the watch. You can control your music playlist, though. Finally, the battery is pretty great for the tiny little watch, offering on average 14 days of battery life, meaning you don't really have to worry about charging it. It does have magnetic charging, which is nice when it does eventually run dry. However, heavy use of the device may lower the battery life to as low as 5 days. Though considering the somewhat limited function of the Mi Band 6, heavy use is somewhat difficult to achieve. You can reliably go more than a week without charging it, and depending on your usage, up to two. That's a pretty long battery life. The Xiaomi Mi Band 6 retails for around $50 to $60. Honestly, the Mi Band 6 can compete with some of the crazy top-tier smartwatches. The Apple Watch Series 6 does everything the Mi Band can do and so much more. Notably, you can respond to messages with a watch. However, the Mi Band does have the Apple Watch beaten in one aspect, its battery life. The Series 6 watch only gets about 18 hours of battery life, which kind of mitigates its ability to track your sleep well, or forces you to find some time to charge it for 90 minutes during your day. This may not be an issue for some people, but it's hard to argue that the Mi Band is more comfortable and convenient when you don't have to worry about its battery nearly as often. Finally, the Xiaomi Mi Band 6 comes at a fraction of the cost of the Apple Watch Series 6, which starts at $399. That's eight times the price of the Mi Band. Of course, the Series 6 plays nicer with an iPhone than it will with an Android, and the Mi Band 6 may be more difficult to use with an iPhone. However, if you own an Android, there's no doubt that the Mi Band will be better for you than the Series 6. For the price, the Mi Band gets really close to the functionality of the Series 6, even if it may not be as cool or stylish. However, if all you're really looking for is the fitness tracking, it's hard to argue with the results and price of the Mi Band. For a closer comparison, there's the Fitbit Sense. This fitness tracker is now retailing for $240, putting it somewhere between the Apple Watch and the Mi Band. However, there is even less reason to get the Fitbit Sense, as while it does a decent Apple Watch impression and has onboard GPS, there are a whole host of bugs and inconvenient features that bog it down. The battery life is also only about half of the Mi Band's battery life, only providing 3-6 to six days of use. The Fitbit Sense can respond to messages like the Apple Watch can, but only if you're not using an iPhone with a Sense. And all three watches, Apple's, Fitbit's, and Xiaomi's, have NFT payments, meaning you can pay with your watch with relative ease and convenience. Out of these three, the Xiaomi has battery life in spades, and more or less equivalent fitness tracking capabilities. It also clearly wins on price, but it does lack the functionality of some of the nicer, more expensive smartwatches, and whether or not that's a deal breaker for the money you're saving is ultimately up to you. The Mi Band 6 does have some issues, of course. Some of the biggest include no onboard storage for music, no microphone, no Google Assistant or Alexa, no ability to reply to texts or take calls, and no onboard GPS. The lack of GPS makes it difficult to accurately track how far you've run, which can have varying margins of error. 
However, it is still very good at tracking heart rate, which can mitigate knowing the exact distances you've run. The companion app doesn't really offer any huge benefits or integration, and the social features are lacking. Other fitness trackers typically have some sort of plan to set up your information with a coach, or do a better job of explaining what all this data means for your health. The Mi Band 6 has no such option, instead opting for a simpler look at your overall health. Though if you know how to interpret the data without a personal trainer or coach, it's still there for you to interpret. The Xiaomi Mi 6 is a great fitness tracker for an excellent price. If you already own a Xiaomi Mi 5 though, there's really no reason to pick up the Mi 6. The only reason to consider upgrading is the larger screen and the blood oxygen tracking. Additionally, if you're looking for a more fully featured smartwatch, the Mi Band 6 probably won't be enough for you. The Mi Band 6 does one thing and does it really well, and that's fitness tracking. If that's not your thing, then the Mi Band 6 probably isn't for you. If you have a recent smartwatch, there's a chance that the Mi 6 could be a strict downgrade to what you have. If you don't have a smartwatch though, and would like to try one for a spin, it's hard to argue with the price of the Mi 6. At only $50, it's a fraction of the cost of its competitors like the Apple Watch Series 6. And if you're not interested in tracking your fitness, you may want to consider the Mi Band 6 anyway, as fitness tracking can be a great way to not only get in shape, but to stay in shape too. Overall, the Mi Band is one of the best entry-level fitness trackers available on the market today. It's really only a bad purchase if you already own something better. Even then, it can make a great gift for someone who's been looking at smartwatches for a while, as it's a quality product at an affordable price. When Apple is selling the watch band separately for more than the Xiaomi Mi Band retails for, you know it's going to be a deal. Or maybe you know that Apple is overcharging. Thanks for watching our video. Looking for more tech videos and reviews? Check out this playlist. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss more videos by us. We've got two more tech review videos like this one coming up soon. Will you be purchasing a Xiaomi Mi Band 6? Or do you already love the smartwatch you have? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Why not leave a comment down below telling us all about it? Anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Take care.